And there are new details about the moment a gunman opened fire inside the North Domestead Giant Eagle Sunday morning, killing a worker there and then turning the gun on himself. And that is where we begin tonight. Our crime and justice correspondent Lydia Espara has police video and audio from officers during what were frantic, scary moments for shoppers. The calls from this giant eagle in North Olmsted came in around 9.30 Sunday morning. We have a report of an active shooter in our giant eagle, 27264 Lorraine Road. As nearly 200 people ran from the store. Nobody has been able to give us a description. Shots are coming from the front of the store. There were 67 employees inside, including 63-year-old Susan Peterson. The scanner traffic continued. One female victim, GSW had... Our shooter, GSW has. We have two GSWs. Shooter hit down. We have a victim that was shot with the employees. Listing agencies copy our shooter is down. Within a minute of getting dispatched, entering the store, police would identify Peterson as the victim. Shooter is down. He is going to be one of the victims, and there is going to be a female victim. Two victims, one female victim with a gunshot wound to the head, also a male victim who is a shooter. And not far behind, her ex-husband, 60-year-old Bernard Edward Smith. Investigators say Smith shot Peterson, then turned the gun on himself. Police say it's unclear at this time why Smith opened fire. Court records show the two had been divorced for 20 years. Now, as investigators continue to control the crime scene... Police from other cities arrived to assist with rifles in tow. Clear. The crime scene too gruesome to see. Police have blacked out the video. Then the entire store is checked for other possible shooters. Units checking the remainder of the store for any other injuries. The scene is secured within 10 minutes. Now, North Olmsted police say they were able to respond quickly because they had just had active shooter training earlier this year. And because of that communication amongst themselves and other police departments, it was clear, concise, and very effective. This evening, the Giant e Eagle is closed, and of course, rest there providing counseling for those employees that just witnessed something so horrific. Mm, of course. Lydia Spar, thank you so much.